Alrighty guys, so I figured I'd do a short opener to this project anyhow. As you guys can see, I got a bunch of parts strewn across here, and this tractor is not actually mine. This is for a guy that got a hold of me. His dad took this tractor apart. He's thinking it's a uh, 52 or 53L, uh, is what they're telling me, and the fact that it has a Bendix mag on it. Also allures to that time frame. Roughly about 1950 to 54 or 55, the Bendix mags were kind of common, but anything after that, not so much. But uh, anyhow, basically he wants me to put it back together, get it running, and just kind of see what it needs, go through it. He, uh, he broke some things and messed some things up trying to load it, and we're going to sort through that sort of stuff and, and just see... Uh, what's going on with it uh, for the most part everything's painted like the the hood and the fan shroud is painted um, I think I'm gonna leave a lot of it alone just cuz the only thing I might do is the black because the black black is black and especially on these it doesn't matter but the red I, I don't think I'm gonna touch uh, with spray spray bomb anyhow because Pretty much you got like two or three different colors and it'll it'll look weird. So anyhow, just want to do a short little clip of all the stuff here. Tractor, the deck. Uh, I got a lot of parts in here that he his dad had started painting and there's actually a mulching guard. There's new skids for the 30 inch deck, which I don't think I'll need. But I could be wrong. Looks like there's painted uh, the gas tank straps are painted. Be honest with you guys, I didn't look through everything that was in here. I was, uh, it was snowing the day he was here, and I just kind of took and started throwing stuff out of there. One of these painted real nice. Two screws, uh, the air shrouds. So, I don't think I threw anything under the hood. So, anyhow, I'm gonna put all that stuff in a milk crate and hang it in a corner or something and I'm going to shove this into the side and move them tires and uh, once I get done with this project and the owning, which I now have all the parts and pieces for, uh, I'll get on this and he has some things ordered already like the handlebar support brackets and uh, he has a new exhaust manifold ordered but when he loaded this thing up he uh, cracked the ear off of here, so I gotta see what we can do. We really don't want to go the route that uh, GT Gravely sells, which is that big ugly block that sticks on the side. So I'm gonna call around, see if I can't find some people that can braze and and uh, go from there, or if he finds somebody, or uh, vice versa. So, alrighty, guys, just a short one for right now. Later. Alrighty, guys, before the radio goes off the commercial here. I got a wild hair this morning and decided to start putting this uh, 53L together. So I got it most of the way put together here as you guys can see. Now I'm to the point of I'm missing parts. I'm missing the uh, top air deflector on top of the cylinder. I am missing the shift lever. Uh, shipper shaft and the loop for the handle to go through for the PTO shift lever. Um, otherwise, you know, I'm really only missing dumb things like uh, throttle cable, which is just regular cable, um, cotter, uh, cotter pins for the shift levers, and the, um, the handles for on the handles, the grips. Uh, so otherwise, everything looks pretty good. I still have the there's two side air shields to put on there, but uh, otherwise I'm missing stuff here, so I don't know. Maybe after lunch, or depending on what I'm feeling like, I will um, try and start this thing. I know the mag is probably going to need messed with because this is a Bendix mag. Uh, actually, uh, the guy has points of condenser for this. Uh, and then vanilla envelopes, so I don't know. I'll just kind of check things over and get it started up and 
to see what it acts like because the guy wants me to go through the lower end on this but if it does not have oil pressure problems Steve is not going to take it apart so that's what I'm going to do anyhow radio's off commercial later guys